Living in a foreign land comes with its own set of challenges. Now, in such situations, every assistance and support counts for much. It is with this in mind that Nigerians living in South Africa met to discuss and explore the challenges faced by their community in South Africa. The panel discussions aimed to urge fellow Nigerians to find common grounds to navigate the challenges they face in South Africa. Bongani Siziba has details in this report. The discussions got underway with each panelist sharing their unique experiences. They raised crucial points, shedding light on the importance of unity for Nigerians living in South Africa. My experience here is there have been several associations, Nigerian this of this of South Africa, Nigerian ABCD of South Africa, Nigeria the other one of South Africa. Too much division, too much disunity. We want to understand why. That's why I say we're going to step on toes. People should talk to us. We have kingmakers here, we have a representative of Ohanese, representative of different ethnic groups here. We want to understand why there are so many divisions. They have shared experiences and diverse perspectives pave the way for a better future. However, they noted it requires a collective effort. The conversation became charged with emotions as panelists debated strategies to overcome the divide. Positions is our problem. Nigerians love positions. That's our problem. Positions, you have to be prince. If you are not prince, you have to be honorable. If you are not honorable, you have to be chief. If you are not chief, you have to be honorable. You have to be big way. You have to be this. We need to stop this thing. It take us to nowhere. A moment of contemplation realizing the significance of their combined voice. The cheers from the audience sparked conversation. There are a few Nigerians that are committing crime and we're hiding them. And I'm happy that we're having this discussion as inward discussion. Not bring, and that is why wherever I go, when I mention I'm a Nigerian, they will say, really? Really? Are you a Nigerian? Really? I do not understand. You guys left the shores of your country to come to another country to get something for yourself, to thrive, to make, to make life easier for yourself and your families. And you are in another country fighting for no cause, for no reason, killing yourselves. And these guys belong to a particular tribe. Funny enough, they are Igbos. Sorry, because we want to, we want to step on toes. <laughs> so, yeah, they are Igbos. So I do not know why they keep fighting and they keep killing. They are not fighting to injure, they are not fighting to do anything, but they are fighting to kill. So we need to really address some issues tonight. Why do we kill ourselves? We Discussions such as these serve as a reminder that togetherness is essential, not optional. Everyone in the house was therefore urged to work together while making more actions to promote unity among Nigerians. After the tensions of the heated discussions, those who attended took time out to make up over delicious Nigerian cuisines. Wangani Siziba for News Central TV, Johannesburg.